Uh, this is just a test of my wireless microphone and my external recorder to make sure I can sync up the audio and not have it look like a bad uh, Chinese Kung Fu movie. So basically what I got going on here today is I need to set the booth back up and uh, clean it out. So I spun the booth around the other day um, and then decided that I wanted to put the truck together instead. So the truck is together, but now it's clean up day. So my plan is, is to wheel the blowers up to the house and plug everything in, unfurl or unfurl the tarp and then inflate the booth, clean the clean and or remove the, well, I'm going to remove the extractors. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to try to clean them or I'm just going to shit can them. Uh, Tiki, get out of there. Uh, and then hose the booth out and leave it inflated for a while. I, I'm, I don't know whether, I shouldn't do it, but I might go in with a leaf blower and blow, blow the booth out after I wash it. It needs to be washed. Hopefully that'll get most of the overspray out of the inside. So hopefully, oh, this won't be too much of a, too much of a nightmare. I'm gonna do it in the morning here before it gets too windy. Yeah, all this stuff is pretty wet and I had a feeling it was gonna be. I put it away wet. Now I'm gonna have to figure something out. Um, I have the most peculiar feeling that this thing's gonna get moldy if given the chance. It may already be moldy. That's kind of problematic. If I was smart, I'd be marking this. There's a way to do it in the recorder. Uh, I'm also testing the, the microphone in mono. Because uh, when I did my original recordings using this recorder, uh, only the left channel was coming in because this is apparently a mono lavalier microphone. I should probably buy a stereo, mono, stereo one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'd like to kind of get this a little straighter in the driveway this time, too. The initial infl inflation was uh, really crooked. You can actually see where all the stains are, where I dropped paint and stuff. I was in too much of a rush for a lot of this. It's my fault. I, I totally did it myself. Just wanted to get it finished. I know this is incredibly boring, but I don't know. Maybe somebody will care. One of the things that always bothered me with car shows is how they seem to skip over so much stuff. And they do it for the sake of you know, uh, edit, you know, video editing and things like that, and television time. But uh, I personally think that some of those things are really kind of important. All right. Let's get this out on a tray. Now, I really like this blower better. We're gonna use this one first. This one definitely has got more ass to it. <sighs> this is a little experiment too, just to see how much of the, uh, how much can you get out of this thing? The tire back when I still have half a day of putting my truck back together. Let's see if we can pop a circuit breaker in the house. I'm really curious about what my electric bill is gonna look like this month. When I was running two electric heaters in the garage over the, while I was doing this project, I had a almost a $300 electric bill. 
don't know if the electricity price went up or, well, I mean, uh, obviously I was using the shit out of my welder. And my, you know, I was basically running a body shop out of the garage here. I'm gonna try to get some of the structure up and then I might end up, I'd like to try to get the door closed, I think. I don't know. If I don't have to close the door, I don't wanna close the door. And there it goes, it's blowing up. With my arms up in the air. Oh, yuck. Man, there's shit on the ceiling now. I am. I said I did it to myself. And basically it blew up. Oh, shit. Well, there's a hole. Fuck. Where that came from. Uh, it doesn't surprise me I got a hole in it already. Yeah, this, oop, definitely. Fuck. Definitely wants this. Wants this door in here. The, uh, the structure kind of relies on its interior pressure to hold it, help hold it up. The zipper is problematic. It should have two. It should have one going one way and one going the other way. And with my luck, the wind will start kicking up before I get a chance to tie it down. It's really slippery in here. The, the two tarps are acting Oh, I don't want to do that. I already got one hole in the damn thing. I don't need to. <clears throat> Falling off this rickety stepladder is really low on my list of shit I want to do today. Yeah, maybe you get it on tape. Fire America's funny videos. I will say overall, I am really happy with this thing for what it is. I mean. Its intended purpose is to do exactly, you know, exactly kind of what I'm doing with it, which is, you know, provide a temporary structure to protect your project from the elements. And this does it pretty well. I mean, in elements, it's more of a relative term. I mean, it does leak water. Um, I didn't expect it not to. Zipper is like this zipper is gonna be what breaks. That's what's gonna be what breaks on this is that zipper. And then getting a new one, I'm probably gonna have to do myself. It needs to be a, a much heavier, heavier zipper. I think you know for another hundred dollars, I would have, I would have preferred a heavier zipper. A heavier two-part zipper, actually, if you really want to get technical. I got a pretty decent air leak going on somewhere. It's going to take a while to build up pressure with the smaller blower. That's I'm running the smaller blower right now. That's why it's it's kind of a little as the ventilation blower, which I shouldn't really do. But I don't feel like swapping them around now. It was an experiment. I hate that metal. Oh, well, that's why it's doing it. Yeah, well, forgot I closed, didn't close this window or this door here. The smaller yellow blower that I bought doesn't really have enough ass to properly inflate this thing. I've said it several times during this project that I'm going to end up um, 
I'm going to end up probably figuring out some way to cobble another blower into this thing. Uh, I just haven't quite got that far yet. So these are the extractors that I bought. Actually, these are old heater filters from my house. That other blower really has a lot more power. Now I gotta figure out how to clean this thing. Oh wow, it's gonna take off in a second. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get a water hose in this thing. I have the same problem I had the other day, which is I got, um, oh man, what a pain in the ass this is gonna be. The zipper on the other end being backwards is really problematic. And that's a, that's a fail for the Chinese manufacturer as far as I'm concerned. These I'm just gonna hose off, or these are gonna bl get blown out and then set in the driveway to dry out. You can see in the, that's the, the paint. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but that's really gross. These, I might just throw all this shit away and this this extractor material isn't overly expensive it is because you have to buy so much of it you have to buy like a hundred foot roll of that stuff and it's or 50 it's like a hundred bucks but you get a ton of it so back here in the workroom where it's even louder yeah i'm just going to pull these out also uh, there goes the, the fan again. Creating a, creating a low pressure area. I bet you I could throw these in the washing machine. Uh, that's what that flapping is. I gotta close this, the main door here. Or else it's gonna tear itself to pieces. I didn't notice that going on one when I was using the larger blower, the one that came with it. So these, I'm gonna save those for sure. I don't know what this material is, but. Uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get a water hose in here. I may end up moving the ladder again. Because this door's backwards too. So I'm gonna go get a trash can. You can see, I don't know if you can see on this, with this camera, but it's fluttering pretty bad in there. Cause it's just, there's not enough, there's no pressure inside the booth. Well, lucky for me, I happen to have a, uh, um, I have stuff to scrub with, so uh, I'm gonna grab the camera and bring it in here real quick, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shut everything off because I'm gonna get really wet doing this, and I don't want my electronics getting wet. This is this is gonna be a mess. Well, actually, I'm just gonna shut off my I'm just gonna put my wireless away. I don't want it getting wet. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna test the waterproofness of my uh, Go GoPro because uh, I'm absolutely gonna take a bath in here. I know it. Uh, I'm gonna get a bucket with some uh, some Dawn soapy water in it, and um, I'm just gonna try to try to clean it. You can see here when I when I shut the booth down the other day, the floor was so wet. Inside the workroom there, it's got a lot of dirt in it. If 
I, when next time I do this, I'm absolutely going to put the charts down. Uh, that was a major, major, major mistake. The rest of this video, um, which is already boring enough, is just me really hosing out the booth. The um, It came out pretty clean. Uh, overspray is some really insidious stuff. Uh, especially, it, it, it's very hard to describe. It's so fine that as a dust, it just, it just sticks to everything. It gets inside of everything. Um, it's just awful, awful, awful stuff. You notice there's a stain on the inside of the booth. That's overspray, and that overspray is never going to go away. Uh, there's just really nothing I can do to get rid of that, practically get rid of it. Um, and it's just another sign that I should have not rushed around so much and, and taken the time to put the excess tarps on. Now, earlier I had said I used Dawn dishwashing detergent. That's my favorite go-to detergent for things I don't really want to damage. Uh, I could have used like a white wall cleaner or something that I know would have probably taken a little bit more of the overspray off. But for practical purposes, it just really wasn't worth it. Uh, I was also afraid of damaging the clear plastic screens. Um, all in all, it, it came out okay. I left the booth up for at least another, you know, for the rest of the day until it dried itself out. Um, I have another set of videos explaining how I broke the booth down from this point after it was clean and put it in a box. That video is booth in a box. Um, there's also one about how I vacuum bagged the booth to get it to go together. Thanks for watching. I know this wasn't the most exciting video I've shot, but it kind of shows the uh, how much more you have to do when a project is done.